Hey everybody, good morning to you. It is 9.01, checking in with you to give you a quick weather update because there is rain out there. Now we've been talking about this all week, how midweek and through the weekend was going to be kind of yucky. So if you have our Cleveland 19 first alert weather app, you know I just sent out a push alert saying, hey, I'm going to be on Facebook Live. We've really been trying to personalize these uh, app updates that we send out throughout the morning. So I hope you got it. And maybe that's uh, why you're tuning in. If not, if you just follow me on Facebook, well, here's a little weather update for you. Look at all these showers coming in from the southwest. Most of the rain this morning has been west of Elyria, but notice we do have some showers starting to creep into the southern end of Lorain County, and those are probably going to drift north, eventually making it into the Cleveland metro area a little bit later this morning. Down I-77, it's been very quiet, but uh, out here in Ottawa, Sandusky, and Seneca County, down towards Bucyrus, we have had steady rain ongoing for quite some time. It's going to be a yucky morning out there. I don't expect us to dry out anytime soon. Now in Cleveland, probably be at least 10 or so before we see the rain moving in. And here's a model just to take us through the future. Midday, we'll have some showers around. And then the evening commute could also feature a few showers, showers and thunderstorms possible into tonight. And then early tomorrow morning, we're left with a little bit of rain. I see we have about 17 people watching. Jack, good morning to you. Unfortunately, for some reason, the comments don't pop up on my phone. Like, I'll get like one comment, and then I'll go back and look on my Facebook page, and there's actually a lot more. So if I don't give you a shout out, I'm so sorry. I'll see your comment as soon as we're done with the Facebook live stream. I don't know why it takes so long. It's weird. Anyway, so tomorrow we keep going with the rain chances. Look at that on again, off again stuff. There's the evening commute tomorrow. Probably going to be some rain around. I know our forecast looks pretty ominous. Okay, the seven day just filled with weather alerts for rain today, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday. It's not going to rain constantly during that time, but we will be in and out of showers. So from today through Saturday, there will likely be rain on some part of our weather map at some point in time. Like that's not going to rain on you every second all the way through Saturday or anything like that. But have your rain gear ready to go because we're going to be in and out of these showers on again, off again stuff. Temperatures still running cooler. We're in the upper 60s. We'll get back into the 70s this weekend. The system that's causing all of this trouble is going to pull away from us by the end of the weekend. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, things start to look just a little bit better. Hi, Kate. I always see your comments on my phone. I'm not sure why they always pop up and no one else's do. I only see like one comment at a time. It's so weird. I don't understand how Facebook works. But anyway, so our rain, we're kind of stuck with it for the next couple of days. I know it's not uh, the best forecast, but we're still in a moderate drought. So we do need the rain. I've meandered over to the green screen. I don't even know why I got up. Maybe to go get something to eat. It's about 9.05, so it's lunchtime for me. But I wanted to check in, give you guys a quick weather update, let you know that for the next several days, you are going to need jackets. It's going to be breezy. You're going to need um, not a lot of sunglasses or sunscreen because we're not going to have a ton of sun to go around. But things do look a lot better by the end of the weekend and into next week. You guys have a great morning. And I will see you back here at noon.